Monotremes Monotremes, like other mammals, are covered in fur and lactate in order to feed their young. Unlike other mammals, they will lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. The platypus. The platypus is also known as the duckbill platypus. They are semi-aquatic and are one of the only egg-laying mammals. They are native to eastern Australia. When European naturalists first encountered this animal, it was believed to be a hoax. It was believed to be a hoax due to it being an egg-laying, duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed mammal, and this confused many people. Both their body and their broad flat tail are covered with dense brown fur. Their fur is designed to insulate air to keep itself warm. Not only is it designed to insulate, but it is also waterproof. They have webbed feet and large rubbery snout, of which features are closer to the duck than any other mammal. Weight varies depending mostly on gender, with males typically being larger than females. Weight varies from 0.7 kilograms to 2.4 kilograms, and length varies from 50 centimetres and 43 centimetres. They will usually have a body temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. Both male and females are born with a spur, but only the males produces venom and is believed to produce more during the breeding season, so they will use it to show dominance. Although powerful enough to kill smaller animals such as dogs, the venom is not harmful to humans. They use their venom in defence. Electrolocation Monotremes are the only mammals, apart from one species of dolphin, that locate their prey by detecting electric fields. The platypus hunts without sight or smell, closing its ears, eyes, nose whenever it dives. It will detect electric currents generated by the muscular contraction of its prey. The platypus is semi-aquatic and will inhabit small streams and rivers. In captivity, they have been known to reach the age of 17 and in the wild can reach the age of about 11 years old. They will prey upon snakes, water racks, gonas, hawks, eagles and owls. There are low numbers of platypuses in Australia. This is believed to be due to predation by crocodiles. The platypus is generally nocturnal. The duckbill platypus is usually solitary, especially males. If males' territories overlap, they will change their foraging time to avoid each other. They are great swimmers and will spend lots of its time in water looking for food. Their dives will only last around 30 seconds and recovery when out of the water lasts between 10 and 20 seconds. The platypus will sleep for around 14 hours a day.
The platypus is a carnivore, feeding on worms, insect larva, freshwater shrimp and freshwater yabby. It will use its cheek pouches to hold its food and will go to the surface where they will eat. The platypus eats approximately 20% of its body weight and will spend up to 12 hours searching for food. Mating is seasonal and will vary depending on population. Male and females will touch each other as they swim past one another. The male grabs the tail of the female with his bill and if the female is unwilling she will try to escape by swimming through obstacles until they are set free. If the female lets the male do this she will swim near him and allow him to grab onto her tail. The platypus is one of the few mammals to lay eggs. It is believed that they have a gestation period of approximately 27 days and an incubation period of 10 days. Their young will live in burrows to protect and nurse them. The platypus has no stomach. Instead of having a stomach, both their esophagus and intestine join. The theory is that over the years they got used to their diet and it simply doesn't include any items which need complex digestion. Short-beaked echidna. The short-beaked echidna is a member of the group Monotremes, a group of egg-laying mammals. The short-beaked echidna is covered in fur and spines. Some of their most distinctive features are their snout and their tongue, which they use to catch their prey at great speeds. They have very strong front limbs and claws, which it uses to burrow quickly with great power. It has a significant tolerance of high levels of carbon dioxide and low levels of oxygen. This is because they live a large amount of their lives underground. During the winter months, they were hibernate, reducing its metabolism to save energy. As the temperature increases, they will emerge to begin mating. Females will lay one egg per year, and mating time is the only time when this species is not solitary. Their young will be the size of a grape, but will grow rapidly with its mother's milk, which is rich in nutrients. The short beaked echidna has a courtship period between June and August that can last between a few days and several weeks depending on its habitat and range. Several males will seek females in this time. Females will only mate with one male per mating season. They have a gestation period of about 23 days after which the female will usually lay one single egg in their pouch for incubation. These eggs will hatch 10 or 11 days later. When the young leave, leave their mother's pouch they will be covered in spines. Young will reach adult size at 3 to 5 years old. Their diet consists mainly of invertebrates, including beetles, spiders, worms, insect eggs and termites, which they will catch with their long tongue. The short-beaked echidna is found throughout Australia and New Guinea. The short-beaked echidna is not threatened with extinction, but is threatened by hunting and habitat destruction. Western Longbeaked Echidna The Western Longbeaked Echidna is found on the Bird's Head Peninsula in Foja Mountains of West Papua and Indonesia. 
They are typically found at elevations of 1,300 to 4,000 metres and will not be found in southern lowlands or the north coast. Its preferred habitat is alpine meadows and humid montane forests. They primarily diet on worms and they are larger than the short beaked echidna and can reach a weight of 16.5 kilograms. This species is currently listed as critically endangered. Their numbers have been decreasing due to human activities such as hunting and habitat loss. The long beaked echidna is thought of as a delicacy and although commercial hunting is banned by the Indonesian and Papua New Guinea government, traditional hunting is still legal. Steropodon. The steropodon is a prehistoric species of the monotremes. They lived during the Albion stage about 105 million years ago in the Lower Cretaceous period. It is a large being 40 to 50 centimetres in length and having lower molars which are 5 to 7 millimetres in length and a width of 3.4 millimetres. The steropodon was discovered in New South Wales, Australia by brothers Davis and Alan Goldman. There is not much information on the steropodon because it is a prehistoric species. Tree shrews. Tree shrews are small mammals that are native to the tropical forests of Southeast Asia. There are 20 species of tree shrews. Tree shrews have a higher brain to body mass ratio than any other mammal. Although they are called tree shrews, they are not actually true shrews. Tree shrews are closely related to primates. Madras tree shrew. The Madras tree shrew, which is also known as the Indian tree shrew, is found in the hill forests of central and southern India. The species is named after Sir Walter Elliot of the Indian Civil Services of Madras. The tree shrew is 16 to 18.5 centimetres in length, with its tail being 16.5 to 19.5 centimetres. They are a reddish brown in colour, with their hind feet and legs being a pale yellow in colour. Not much is known about their reproductive behaviour. It is believed that they can produce up to five young at a time. The Madras tree shrew is omnivorous, eating insects such as caterpillars, flying ants and butterflies, as well as earthworms and fruit. They will spend most of their morning and evening hours foraging for food and will forage independently. The tree shrew will climb trees rapidly when threatened. This is likely an adaption to escape predators. The Madras tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern.
Bornean Smooth Tail Tree Shrew. The Bornean Smooth Tail Tree Shrew is only found in Malaysia. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical dry forest and the species is threatened by habitat loss. Their combined head and body length is 5 inches and its tail is 4.5 inches. They have an overall body mass of about 43 grams. The upper parts are dark brown with underparts being orange yellow and have shiny black sides which possess a reddish streak. They have large ear flaps and will have a short snout. They have an orange ring around their eyes. They will have a thin tail which is covered in fine smooth hair which darkens towards the tip. Nothing is known about the mating system, but generally true tree shrew species are solitary or a pair living together. Nothing is known about the reproductive system. Generally tree shrews tend to have one to three young, with a gestation period ranging from 43 to 56 days. They are believed to reach adult size at approximately three months and reach sexual maturity at four months of age. Not much is known about the diet of the Bornean smooth tail tree shrew. They are thought to be generally omnivorous. They have been observed in both the wild and captivity eating a range of arthropods, fruit and small vertebrates. It is not known what hunts the Bornean smooth tail tree shrew, but other tree shrews are preyed on by a variety of mammalian, reptilian and avian predators. The species is listed as data deficient because it was not recorded in the early 1970s and was listed as vulnerable from 1996 to 2008. The major threat of this species is habitat loss. Northern Smooth Tail Tree Shrew The Northern Smooth Tail Tree Shrew is found in Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam. They are found in tropical forests with elevations up to 1500 metres above sea level. The Northern Smooth Tail Tree Shrew is the smallest of the tree shrew family group with a head to body length being 11.5 cm with a tail length of 4 to 5 cm and weighing approximately 35 to 55 grams. They are light in colour and have facial markings which are used to distinguish them from other smooth tail shrews which lack these distinguished facial markings. Their upper body is brown slash blackish in colour with this underside being lighter and have short hair. The tail is dark and will become gradually darker until it reaches the tip. This species of tree shrew typically breeds when the fruiting of local trees and shrubs is at its best. They will begin to wean at about 30 days and will usually give birth to twins. They typically weigh 6 to 10 grams and will be hairless, blind and totally dependent on their mother. Approximately a pair of tree shrews mate and produce young every 45 days. They tend to reach sexual maturity at about two months. Once they reach sexual maturity, they will be pushed out of their home and will live solitarily until they find a mate. Their diet consists mainly of fruits, arthropods and small vertebrates. The northern smooth tail tree shrews eat all day long to maintain their energy. This is because they have a very simple digestive tract which allows them to fa pass food very fast. They have a conservation status of least concern and are thought to be abundant.
The Northern Tree Shrew The Northern Tree Shrew is native to Southeast Asia. The Northern Tree Shrew inhabits forest areas, living in tropical and subtropical habitats, which are usually moist environments. They have also been seen in shrublands and artificial plantations and rural gardens. The Northern Tree Shrew is a greyish olive colour. The Northern Tree Shrew resembles a squirrel and they have a long bushy tail and have an elongated snout. The Northern Tree Shrew have a monogamous mating system. The hardest part of the mating system for the Northern Tree Shrew is possibly the finding of the mate. Copulation can occur within a few hours if the female will accept the male, however they will usually use more aggressive behaviour. Male or female Northern Tree Shrews will defend their territory against any intruders if the couple... They have a gestation period of about 41 to 45 days and have between 1 to 5 offspring. Their lifespan in the wild is unknown, but they live between 9 and 12 years in captivity. The northern tree shrew is mostly insectivorous, but will sometimes eat fruits to obtain extra nutrients and calories to their diet. The northern tree shrew is unable to go more than one day without water. They do not absorb much water from their food. It is thought that this tree shrew is defensive of its territory. They will bare their teeth and make a high-pitched sound to try to scare off potential predators or threats. It's not known what their specific predators are. However, it is thought that they would be threatened by large birds of prey, snakes and some carnivorous mammals. The northern tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern and they have a stable population and are common throughout their range. Golden bellied tree shrew. There is not much information known about this species of tree shrew. The golden bellied tree shrew is also called the Mentawa tree shrew, as it's only found at the Indonesian Mentawa islands of Sapora, North and South Pega. It likes to live in forests, and this species is considered endangered due to habitat loss, since the island is continuously logged. Striped tree shrew. The striped tree shrew is found in Borneo and found in both Indonesia and Malaysia. Striped tree shrews have a long tail and have a slender body. They have great hearing, smell, and vision. This species of tree shrew is mainly insectivorous but will also eat fruits. They have a gestation period of about 50 days and will have a litter of 3 to 4 young. The young are born hairless and blind. They are able to leave the nest at the age of 1 month. They will reach sexual maturity at 4 months of age and will usually breed throughout the year and do not have a specific breeding season. The striped tree shrew has no conservation status because the data is deficient. Common tree shrew. The common tree shrew is found in Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. The common tree shrew is one of the largest tree shrews. Their average body length is 16 to 21 centimeters, and they weigh, on average, 190 grams. They are reddish brown in colour and have a greyish 
or black upper part with a whitish belly with a long bushy tail which is dark greyish brown and is almost the length of its entire body. Their paws have sharp claws. Both sexes are similar in length and weight. Their body to head length is about 13 to 21 centimetres and they have a tail length of 12 to 20 centimetres. They will often have a white patch on each of their shoulders. The common tree shoe has a dense coat and will vary in colour typically being olive brown or grey in colour. They have a pale underside and have paws that are, have the sharp claws which they use to climb trees. They have small ears and rather small eyes which are located on the sides of their head. They have a long snout which bears a patch of skin above the nose. The common tree shrew is active during the day and will usually forage alone or sometimes in pairs. They are most often forage on the ground among shrubs and tree holes. They feed on fruit, leaves, seeds and insects, especially ants and spiders, and have even been seen catching lizards. The common tree shrew is usually monogamous. The relationship between female and males is usually permanent, as revealed by scent marking from pairs and them sharing territory. However, not all common tree shrews are monogamous. Some have been seen having a poly polygnous mating system. The common tree shrew mates all year round, but mating peaks between February and June. Female common tree shrews have a gestation period of 40 to 52 days and can produce up to three young. The young will weigh between 10 and 12 grams at birth and their eyes and, and ears do not open until after between 10 and 20 days of birth. The young develop quite slowly, while still in the nest and drinking the mother's milk 36 days after birth. Their young develop quite slowly, while still in the nest and drinking their mother's milk. 36 days after birth they are able to leave the nest and are weaned. They begin to develop more quickly after leaving the nest. Both genders of the common tree shoe become sexually mature at the age of three months. Common tree shrews only have a short lifespan, living between the age of two and three years. However, they have been known to live up to the age of 12 in captivity. The common tree shrew is preyed upon by snakes, birds of prey and small carnivals. The common tree shrew is listed as least concern, which is probably due to its rapid breeding and fast colonisation. Slender tree shrew. Like many species of tree shrew, not much information is known about the slender tree shrew. The slender tree shrew is native to Indonesia and Malaysia. The slender tree shrew has a slender build. Like many tree shrew, it possesses a long tail. They have well developed hearing, smell and vision. Slender tree shrews are omnivores, feeding on a variety of insects, small vertebrates, fruits and seeds. The slender tree shrew has a gestation period of approximately 50 days, after which they have a litter of 3 to 4 young. Their young are born blind and hairless. They are able to leave the nest at 1 month old. The slender tree shrew reaches sexual maturity at 4 months old. They have no specific breeding season and will breed all year round. They have a conservation status of least concern. Horsefields tree shrew. Not much is known about this species of tree shrew. Horsefields tree shrew is native to Indonesia.
The Horsefield's true shoe has developed senses of hearing, smell and vision. They have a slender build and possess a long tail. The Horsefield tree shoe is an omnivore but mainly feeds on insects. They will also eat small vertebrates, fruit and seeds. Breeding in the Horsefield tree shrew is very similar to the slender tree shrew's breeding habits. They have no specific breeding season and will breed all year round. They have a gestation period of 50 days and will give birth to 3-4 to four young. The Horsefield tree shrew is also known as the Javan tree shrew. They have a conservation status of least concern. Long-footed tree shrew. There is very little information known about this species. They are thought to be very similar to the species to many species of tree shrew. They are found in Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Their conservation status is least concern, but they are thought to be threatened by habitat loss. Pygmy tree shrew. The pygmy tree shrew is native to Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand. They are found in tropical forests below 1,000 metre elevations. Pygmy tree shrews look like squirrels, but can be distinguished by their long pointed snouts and lack of long black whiskers. They have golden brown fur on their back and limbs. Their underparts vary in colour from white to light cream. They have sharp claws on their hands and feet, which these claws are used for climbing. Pygmy tree shoes have a mass of 60 grams. There is little information known about the mating habits of this species. The pygmy tree shrew has a litter of 1 to 3 young. Females will reach sexual maturity when they weigh 46 grams, whereas males weigh approximately 16.3 grams when they reach sexual maturity. Weaning will occur at about 30 days of age. Once they reach sexual maturity, they are kicked out of the parental territory. There is no information on the average lifespan of the pygmy tree shrew, but it has an average lifespan 9 to 10 years in captivity. The pygmy tree shrew is omnivorous, its diet consisting mainly of a wide variety of invertebrates, but it also eats fruits. It is not really known what hunts the pygmy tree shrew, but it is thought that they are hunted by snakes, large mammals and raptors. The pygmy tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern and it is thought to be threatened by logging, cultivation and humid, human habitation. Calamian tree shrew Little is known on this species of tree shrew. They are found in the islands of Pasanga and Kalyan. The Calamian tree shrew diets on a wide variety of insects, small vertebrates, fruits and seeds. They have a gestation period of approximately 50 days, having a litter of 3 to 4 young. Mountain tree shrew The mountain tree shrew is native to Borneo and inhabits montane forests in Sarawak and Sabah. The mountain tree shrew has been recorded mostly at elevations above 2,000 feet. They have been observed being active during the day and forage among fallen logs and branches, feeding mostly on ar arthropods, occasionally eating wild fruits and berries. It is believed from studies in captivity that they have a gestation period of 49 to 51 days and have no distinct breeding season. Litter is usually one to two young. Mountain tree shoes have dark reddish brown grizzled fur with an indistinct black line along its back. It has a short tail which is grizzled reddish brown colour, but below the tail is an ovalicious yellow with a black tip. 
The Baltine head length is 15 to 33 cm and its tail is 13 to 19 cm in length. They have a conservation status of least concern. Nicobar tree shrew. Not much information is known about the Nicobar tree shrew. It is found on the Nicobar Islands where it inhabits the island's rainforest. It is classified as endangered because it is threatened by habitat loss. The species of tree shrew was first described by Johann Zellerbar in 1868. Palawan tree shrew. They occur in jungles which are rich with fresh water and rivers. There are no threats to the species that are known. They are found on the Palawan island and are found at 1,400 metres above sea level. They have a conservation status of least concern and the population for the species is steady. Painted tree shrew. It is found in Borneo and inhabits Kalimantan and Sarawak. Their diet consists of mainly insects and fruits. The first specimen was described by Oldfield Thomas. Not much information is available for this species. Ruddy Tree Shrew not much information is known about this species. The body tree shrew is native to Borneo, the Natuna Islands and the, and the Anambas Islands. They feed on insects, small vertebrates, fruits and seeds. They have a conservation status of least concern. Large tree shrew. The large tree shrew is found on the islands of Borneo, including the countries Brunei, Darussalam, Indonesia and Malaysia. They spend a lot of the time in the trees of the tropical rainforests, swamp forests and secondary growth forests, but they spend the most part of their lives on the forest floor, which is where they spend most of their time foraging. They have been found at elevations 1,000 metres above sea level, but they mostly occur in lowland forest areas. The average weight of a large tree shrew is 198 grams. They have an elongated snout which is longer than any other species of tree shrew. They have large eyes which have no eyelashes and their ears are hairless. Their fur is dark brown on their dorsal side and reddish orange on its ventral side. Large tree shrews have yellow strips present on each shoulder and a distinct black strip down the midline of the back. They possess a bushy tail. The colour of this tail varies from orange, red and yellow depending on location. They have elongated claws which are used for climbing and digging. Both males and females are similar in size and appearance. The large tree shrew forms monogamous pairs. Males will initiate mating behaviour and usually mate with a female that shares the most territory with him. Females are able to produce at the age of one but have usually established a territory before this. The breeding season peaks at August and November. The female usually gives birth to two young. Their young will be weaned at the age of 25 to 33 days. The large tree shrew has an average lifespan of 10 to 14 years in the wild. Large tree shrews will feed on a variety of things. This includes beetles, ants, spiders, cockroaches, crickets and other invertebrates. They typically prefer earthworms, centipedes, millipedes and beetle larvae. They, use, they typically forage on the ground, where it will dig through the soil to find its prey. They will also diet some fruit, and this will consist of about 30% of their diet. The large tree shrew has many potential predators, which include cats such as marble cats, leopard cats and clouded leopards which typically hunt adult tree shrew. Leslings and young large tree shrews are most vulnerable where birds of prey are their biggest threat. Reptiles, civets and mongooses will also hunt on young tree shrews. 
The large tree shrew is not thought to be threatened and supposed to have a stable population and have been given a conservation status of least concern. Mindanao tree shrew. The Mindanao tree shrew is also called, called the Philippine tree shrew and is found on Mindanao in the Philippines. The Mindanao tree shrew is usually found inhabiting bush zones in dense vegetation, typically along riverbeds. This tree shrew is even haired with a round tail and an elongated snout. They have sharp claws on their forefeet. The upper parts of the animal are brownish in colour. Most have an orange strip on their shoulder. The underparts vary in colour from orange to orangish, orangish red, which is usually the brightest part. When the Mindanao tree shrew is born, it is naked. Newly born weigh approximately 20 grams. After 13 to 25 days, they are able to open their eyes. They have a gestation period that lasts 54 to 50 day, 56 days, with a litter of one or two young. Females are usually receptive soon after birth. There was no information about the lifespan of the Mindanao tree shoe. However, one captive Philippine tree shoe lived to 11 and a half years. This species is omnivorous and eats a variety of foods, ranging from small animals to insects to fruits and vegetables. It has been observed opening and eating eggs. It has a conservation status of least concern and is threatened by habitat destruction by humans. Pen tail tree shrew. It is found in Thailand, Malaysia, Sumatra, northern Borneo and nearby small islands. They have been found in primary and secondary forests, rubber farms and in houses near forage edges. The animal's back is grey to light brown with a white to yellowish belly. Their pen tail is mostly black, fading to white, making the pen tail tree shrew recognisable and distinct. Individuals have a black eye mask frequently. Not much is known about their mating habits, but it is thought that they would have a litter of between one and four because they have two pairs of nipples. Typically, its gestation period is 45 to 55 days, and babies weigh around 10 grams. Nothing is known about the lifespan of the pentail tree shrew. Like most tree shrews, they are omnivorous. They have been observed eating bananas, grapes, crickets, and grasshoppers. The pentail tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern, but is threatened by slash and burn clearing of tropical forests for cultivation and human use, as well as logging and habitat loss threatening this species.